<laughs> Guys, we're just okay. starting the camera early because we were having a little okay, lunchy so, lunch, a little snacky poo, okay. and Doughboy said something ridiculous. Okay. And I want, I want y'all to weigh on this. this. Unpopular opinion. Unpopular opinion. You're ridiculous now. Black people are now not are, are like third on the hierarchy of fried chicken as far as preparation. We're no longer number one. Out. Asian people make better fried chicken than black people, and we eating some Thai fried chicken right now, and it's flames. I'm just saying. I mean, black people used to be unequivocally unchallenged in fried chicken. I don't know that we are anymore. First of all, black people are number one. In yeah, and you're saying this as you shining up a Thai chicken bone like a triple gold date. Oh. <laughs> so, so just know that a black man didn't make that. I didn't say Thai people or, or Chinese people couldn't do chicken wings. You think that they're, you think black people are still number one? Number one. I don't know that we they are. are Kevin. number one. I don't think that we are. We are. Because their crisp is better. The flavoring at this point. Are you point talking about the, restaurants or are you talking I'm about, about restaurants? Or homes. <laughs> Who's frying your chicken? Tony don't fry chicken. See, Tony don't See, fry chicken. You got one of them young girls. That's the problem. <laughs> you got one of them young girls. Them young girls don't know how to fry no chicken. And Yo, back in the I ain't going to hold you. fried chicken, bake biscuit. Tony bake biscuit. Nah, Tony man. Tony don't bake no look, biscuit. Look, man, listen. Oh. I need one of the older oh, sisters. I bet she got a TikTok, though. <laughs> <laughs> she do. <laughs> yes, she, yes. She got a TikTok. She ain't got no TikTok on that fried chicken. Tyler. That's the problem. She don't know how to fry no chicken. You need to turn the TikTok on that 8 to 10 for them thighs. Yo, I just realized she ain't never made fried chicken. See, you mess around with Younger, see, man, what well, she's it, making shrimp scampi, yes, Alfredo. She's make, no, she, she's literally making shrimp Alfredo today. <laughs> literally, I wish I was is joking. She's making with you. the sauce from scratch, or no, is it a, she's ragu. Oh, Tony, I'm sorry because you know I care for you, but oh, I mean, listen. So, you now you had a woman, you had a 148, <sighs> see? a Mildred, a Bertha, <laughs> she's making <laughs> biscuits from scratch. <laughs> I don't know, that's Tony. You know I got Tony, love for you. Tony, you better learn how to fry. That's what your problem she is. She's trying to FaceTime me now. Don't try to FaceTime me now. <laughs> FaceTime uh. your auntie. FaceTime your auntie. Have her teach you how to fry chicken. <laughs> but no, but for real, for real, I don't know. Like, if I had to put this, like, some Asian fried chicken tell your problem. over, like, Roscoe's. Hold it. First of all, you're out of your mind. <laughs> we could have that conversation. First of all, you're out of your mind. Okay. I don't be drinking soda like that. <laughs> I told you it's crazy when you forget. You forget how it makes you feel. My body has forgotten. What like, your, like, like your body, like your body, like your body was looking out for us. Like, hold on, oh give my. us a second. Your body was like, hey, <laughs> let's read the room first. <laughs> first is, whew, I'm trying to wake up. I just flew from Chicago. We'll talk about that. Okay. Um, and Doughboy brought sodas, and I had no whip. Uh, there, oh. there it is. Come on, the little Come baby on. got hey, the big oh, puppy. Asian fried chicken burp. Smell your breakfast right now. Asian fried chicken burp to the world. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, so first let me tell you the first problem. Okay, L.A. traditionally mm -hmm. has very little good soul food restaurants. Facts. Okay, Roscoe's. I don't know if it's even considered a soul food restaurant. They're mostly chicken and waffles. I don't think they ascribe themselves. And to then what, is, what else yeah, do they I have? Like like M and M's. They, they have Doolin's. Doolin's. And that's the only one I really. Is even there hear fried about. chicken flames there? Doolin's is solid. What Doolin's is solid. Doolin. L.A. Yeah. LA. What about Gus's? I don't know Gus's, about Gus's is good, but that ain't black. Gus is white, which is interesting. You ain't you never know, met a brother named Gus. You know, uh, <laughs> Augustus, who was the guest we had two weeks ago? Anaya. Her husband owns Gus's Fried Chicken. Anaya's not married. Anaya's not married. You're so talking about the Love Our Girl. Yeah. Uh, oh, Dr. No, Garcia. Not, yeah, we're not right. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I got cooked. Never mind. That's your problem. One, LA okay. don't have a lot of soul food places. Okay, so then that's not my fault because I am a Los Angeles native. You are not a Los Angeles. Wait, what? Wait, I, I live here now. What does that mean? When I'm a Los, Los Angeles, Angeles resident. Native. I'm a Los You're Angeles an Angelino. resident. I'm an Angelino. Angelino. By the way, let's pause. Is that the thing? Yes, it's called. It's the thing. Angelinos are probably one of the worst names of yeah. a of a city. Is that what they call us? Angelinos. I, I like. I think it's Angelinos. No, it's Angelinos. And Is I it? know from the movie Tom Cruise, Jamie Foxx. What was that? Collateral. Collateral damage. No, just collateral. No collateral damage. It wasn't. Josh, don't look at me. Was I'm not a part of this at all. Other than hey me Siri, what was that mic? movie with Jamie Foxx and Tom Cruise? Bet fifty bucks on it. Here's one movie with Jamie Foxx. Seventy-five bucks, a thousand dollars. It's collateral. Collateral. Okay. So he says that. Okay, Siri, shut up. <laughs> uh, they were talking about it. They're called mm. Angelinos. Second of all, um, 
So you're not really eating black restaurants that much, if mm -hmm. ever. You probably haven't eaten at a soul food restaurant in Los Angeles. But I was in five chicken is years. better than black people fried okay, chicken. Okay, now you're just be no. I'm being for, I'm, and I'm not even really trying to rock the boat. Albert Maybe is, because I'm not around black fried chicken enough. That's what I'm saying. You, okay. Your sample size is so low. But, okay, but we've been you around the country. What, 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 when we go, you know, I still haven't had Harold's. You're missing out. Okay, so what? But where have we gone? Well, that's the thing. Like is Bojangles, like lit. Bojangles is is a uh, is a franchise. That's fast. Is that which is that yeah. considered black? I, fried I, chicken? No, I mean, do you consider Popeyes black because of the commercials? Yeah, There'd be lady. black people in there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really count it if it's franchise, but okay. I would I would agree. Most people thinking Popeyes and Bojangles consider black chicken. So you don't feel like Asian people are anywhere near close to black people in the. No, front. I didn't say that. Is, is, I, is I it think, at least closer than it was 15 years ago? I don't think it's changed. Okay, I think. I've pretty much always liked Asian fried chicken, especially in DC. They they fried chicken and in DC. And they put the mumbo sauce on it out yeah, there. Yeah, with the fried rice, it's a whole thing. <laughs> but I don't think they've leapfrogged frogged black restaurants or black people. Well, we got to figure out. Word on the streets is they learned how to fry. So I don't, did you know this? Did you guys know this? So I read an article or watched a video about why there's so many Chinese restaurants. Okay, talk to me. And I could be mistaken because I only watched it once. Mm -hmm. But essentially the thought was, I think there was an immigration loophole, so to speak, that if you were opening a business, mm -hmm. it was easier to immigrate to the United States. Okay. So a whole bunch of Chinese people were opening restaurants and they would open a restaurant, get somebody immigration, now you run that. Mm -hmm. Then you, we would open one for you. And then you both get a job at a restaurant and that's why there's so many Chinese restaurants because they're bringing their people over, opening businesses because it was, it was thought if you could help the economy, we'll help you immigrate faster. Right. And that's why there's so many um, really? Asian restaurants, Chinese restaurants. I so I do agree that Chinese and Thai uh, fried chicken wings are good. Now do you think that because a lot of them I would not put them above black people and don't you ever disrespect. Huh? During Black History Month, you're gonna follow up Black <laughs> Black Panther was mad with black I'm people don't saying, even own fried chicken. I'm just saying like, I, cause I grew up always thinking that like that's what we do. You know, as a people, we make the best fried chicken. And lately, I've just been like, man, it's I. you. Ain't, but you're not even comparing uh, it. That's, and that's my flaw. That's why. But then why do you say ridiculous things if you're because not even. I, because I, sometimes I just live in my bubble. You live in the moment too much. That's why you always That's what I feel like more people should do. No, no, no. Because <laughs> you're making an unfair comparison. All you're right. really saying is I've been eating a lot of uh, Asian fried chicken. I haven't eaten a lot of black fried chicken. Therefore, Asian is better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's much. That doesn't make sense that's what at I meant. <laughs> but, but, but no, but it, because if I'm it was eating better, more, you would be saying, "Man, I've been going to more." I've been going to Soul Food, and I've been going to this Chinese so, spot for the last five, six years. The Chinese spot has been getting better and better. Because I'm not even playing it fair because you're I'm not, not even. I'm not just even, eating you're not even one comparing. Of them. I'm just, just eating, eating one and one then and shutting and the other, and therefore right. making another argument. I see what you're saying. So okay. anyway, we haven't even done the intro yet. What up? This is the 253 pound doughboy. <laughs> this is Kevin, who's also 253 pounds. <laughs> and this is another installment of Started Off to the Right. Righteous and ratchet and Asian people, they make really good fried chicken. I didn't mean no disrespect to all of the black folks, but the Asians are doing their thing too. So let's let's get this stuff out let's of here. Let's clean this out of the way. Get your weekly dose of r and hey. So here's my TikTok strategy before you go into what you were going to do. You think. have a strategy for TikTok? Yes. Okay. <laughs> First, I wasn't going to do TikTok. Okay. Because I was just like, enough. Mm -hmm. Right? I can't. It's too many things. Then I saw Trevor Wallace, 2 million fans. On TikTok? In on like, TikTok. what, six or eight months? Not even, Josh. Maybe three to five. First of all, so I thought there was a your man other sitting in this other office and it's your reflection. And I was like, who is my there? Hey, it is hey, your head. Hey, sir. I was uh, like, he was uh, like, who is that Savelt man? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I'm just putting my dad jokes. Okay. Dad jokes that I said on All Dev or you said mm -hmm. uh, on TikTok. Just silly. First of all, they get crazy engagement. Just a 15 second, not on TikTok. Okay. But I put them on TikTok and then I just post them on Twitter and stuff. Okay. So I posted the Will Smith one. Right. Fresh Prince. No, no. I posted the Why Are Black People So Tall one. Mm hmm. Uh, because they're Negroes, right? Is. This dude just responded to me on Twitter, coon. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> really? Yes. 
because you made a Negro joke? But he doesn't follow me. I got talked too crazy because I said Black Panther was meh. Not as crazy as I would have thought, though. A lot of people are coming out of them shadows like, yeah, they like it too. <laughs> they I, out. I thought I would have got a lot. I thought I would have got washed a lot worse. I saw. So my homeboy from Seattle, uh-huh. uh, he he said on the Instagram video, I agree. I've been saying that from the beginning. And then he went on Twitter to continue. Why I was I'm mad. He you. actually had an interesting argument, which you probably should have said. He said, if you rank the Marvel films That's top good. to bottom, That's good. Black Panther falls somewhere in the middle. Therefore, it's mid. He said Black Panther's mid. That's a better Didn't argument. Did I say that? You said it was meh. Isn't that the same thing? It's it's, it's very similar, but the argument slope, of meh is a slippery slope. Not a slippery slope. It's just I meh just means like the meh movie's just average, okay, right? Menos, right? But mid means if I really First enjoy of all, this. Why would you know what mid is? You ain't never mid middle, is, not weed. Oh, okay, that's what. And I know what mid means for. You don't that, have to. Smoke to be weed fair, that's mid that, that's the origination of that's where the mid origination came from, where it came from. Weed, it's, yeah, it's a mid shelf. It's a mid. It's a mid. Not that I'm well versed in. Oh, I just knew middle. I guess it was no. It's it. It's exactly. But what yeah, it's but short it originated from, right. from smoking. And you oh, don't that's do that. that's a mid. I smoke weed. Shut up. I be smoking the ganja. <laughs> <laughs> but if you would have said Marvel makes amazing films, here are my top seven, uh, and here's my bottom seven, and Black Panther, Black Panther ranks around the middle. Mm. That's a different argument. See, your biggest problem on unpopular opinion is execution. It's your execution of your Stink argument. Dang it! You never articulate correctly what you say, and then people are just like. Don't boy just be saying. And then they stuff. write me off because of the dumb things I do say. Exactly. Ah! But his execution, the passion that he has behind it, can sell. Oh, to I'm gonna sell though. anything. I and believe it. Yeah. So here's what I'm telling you: mm-hmm. you can be you, or you can be Skip Bayless, right? Mm-hmm. Skip Bayless does what you do just better, right? Right. He's utterly ridiculous, but he has in his disdain he, for but LeBron. His arguments are well constructed, but his arguments are enough for you mm-hmm. to be like, "What will this dude do?" He will still say LeBron's clutch numbers. He mm-hmm. will still say LeBron. LeBron's not clutch. Even though LeBron's clutch numbers ranked amongst the greatest clutch mm-hmm. in fourth quarter, in last minute, in overtime, in game six, game seven, in all the factors that you say clutch, but he'll point to a LeBron mistake and mm-hmm. say this is why he's not clutch. But and be- because people live in the moment, uh-huh. they'll forget all this other stuff. And because he is so good at, at constructing his arguments, it makes you at least it at least makes him a formidable villain instead exactly. of you just writing him off. As Even though he's stupid. completely bogus. So all I got to do is just a little bit more research. And people would be and, like, and, all you want people to be on unpopular opinion, mm. all you want them to be able to say is like, ooh, I disagree with <laughs> Doughboy, but right. he makes some strong points. Right. You know who really claps the best arguments on unpopular opinion? Who? Angel. She Angel does. takes some hard mm-hmm. takes. She does. I don't want to spoil the one, but the, the right pack. Oh, that one was great. Her her Denzel yes. one, it hasn't come out oh, yet, but yeah. if you're part of the stage crew right, slash right pack, you've already seen that. Is that mm. the yellow camera? Yellow camera. Let's say hello to them real quick. Oh, we never even said hello to the right. Oh, we're sorry. We've been eating. We're all over the Sunday. place. It's Sunday. Okay, shout out to the right. Pack. It's Sunday. I didn't get to go to they church. They are today. watching oh, us did, right now. Lie. You could be a part of the fun for as low as five dollars a month. What else do they get in addition <laughs> to going through it right now? Cry yeah. again? No, no, this burps. I was about to my say. No, 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 cry again. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Black fried chicken burps don't ever be as ridiculous right. as Asian food fried chicken burps. You right. I don't. I'm disgusted with myself right now. <laughs> I burped and I'm like, get away from me. <laughs> well, shout out to the Right Pack. They are watching this on Sunday. This episode is not going to air until Wednesday. They also get a bonus episode. What else do they get in addition with that same five dollars? Ask her. Ask her. The Gandhi tape. Ah, yeah. Tape. Love hour after dark. Huh? In case you missed it too hot for TV. Uh, slept on. Slept on with Doughboy. New episode coming this month. Yes. No. You this promise? week. This. I'm going to shoot it today after this. Oh, are you? I brought the thing. Slap on. I, I did not around. bring that. I, ju- I literally just gave it. Shut up and let me have credit for <laughs> Why this. Why do you do that? I want to feel responsible. You can just say, I have the thing ready. Shut up. <laughs> you literally said, I brought this. I was like, no, no, no. It's the sleeping thing. It's the purple okay, one we've had in the office. How about this? Right, but stop it. Stop it. How about this? A lot of people predicted by now that we'd be teleporting to work or living on Mars by now. And a lot of these predictions were wrong. The truth is, we'll always get the future wrong, which is why we need to get life insurance right. 
That's where policy genius can help. Now, guys, I've been really trying to change my life. You know, I've been, you know, paying taxes and doing things that like most law abiding citizens do. Life insurance was something that I needed to get. And you think I didn't go to policy genius and get it? Mm -hmm. You're not thinking the best because I did. Okay. Now, policy genius makes finding the right life insurance a breeze. In minutes, you can compare quotes from the top insurers to find your best price. You can save 1500 or more a year by using Policy Genius to compare life insurance policies. Once you apply, once you apply, the Policy Genius team will handle all the paperwork and the red tape. Now listen to this. Listen so to if this. your science fiction dreams for 2020 still haven't become science fact, don't get discouraged. Get life insurance. It just takes a few minutes to find your best price and apply at policygenius.com. Policy Genius will always Enough. get the future wrong. Enough. Better get life insurance right. Gee, don't drink no more soda. I'm Kevin. done. You're cut off. I need to <laughs> cut them off. Let me tell you what. In the live chat, Angelica Mister, who is one of our oldest, well, one of my oldest fans, mm -hmm. she said we got like a thousand new patrons members this month. We are now number 41 in the Patreon top 100. I was just gonna ask what? if we messed up because there's 555 people in here right now. What? No, I think 555 right now. No, nah, we're good. No, wow. I believe you. I'm just saying. Like, no, nah, we've been we've been chatting it up. Wow. So Patreon actually reached out to me. It was like Kevin, you and Doughboy have been doing such an amazing thing on Patreon. We're actually shooting. A, that's the reason we're shooting this on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Patreon wants us to promote Patreon. I seen that. So we're shooting a commercial for Patreon on Tuesday. England and it's up. because of you guys. Can we give a round of applause yes. to the Patreon? And yes. there's a reason why I cried last week. Come on, man. People were sending me money on Cash App who who weren't a part of Patreon. That's just crazy. And were like, I missed out. I feel bad. Like, how do you feel bad about something I didn't That's, even ask for? That is um, crazy. So anyway, uh, so what do we want? We're all over the place today. Let's talk about the photograph because uh, so here's that's what, what everybody's talking about. We're going to give you guys a little sneak peek into Spoiler Alert. Mm -hmm. Now, Spoiler Alert is our movie review show. Where Sometimes. We, right. Sometimes mm -hmm. we will review a movie that is so important to the culture right. on the podcast, exactly. right? But we'll be doing other movies. So later this week we're going to shoot Parasite and mm -hmm. we're going to shoot The Circle on Netflix. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to I'm going to watch 1917 while I'm on the road this week. Mm -hmm. You have my word. I already seen it. I'm on the road for 5 film. days this Emotion weekend. Play. I have a lot of time. Hey man, you are working hard, man. I yeah. love you. So <laughs> I, I love you too. So but sometimes we will I just don't want the Patreon people to be like, "Hey, y'all doing our nah, stuff like" and, But this but when we do the reviews on the podcast, we won't give away spoilers. No, no, we on, will. Are we going to give her spoilers Always. right now? I don't know how to it do a review without talking about spoilers. That's too soon. That movie. No, 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 no. This airs on Wednesday. We can always say spoiler alert. If you haven't watched the movie, skip this part. But the okay. right pet, I mean. But the, I, I think that's a little. You how can, can you talk about it? How, just I don't talk, know how. Just don't give away the ending. I'm not giving away the ending. We just okay. don't give away okay, any that's spoilers. Fine. To okay. me, I, I thought you were literally just going to. Yeah, okay. No, so no, let's no, talk I'm not going to talk about this part and that part. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's talk about it. Do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? I'll go first. I feel very strongly. So you can go first. Go ahead. Now you go first. I want to see what you're first strongly because you can be one way or the other. And he can spoil okay. it first too. All right. I feel like black cinema is back in a way that I am very, very excited about. I feel like Issa Rae just stepped into leading woman fashion and I did not see her like that before. Yeah. I always kind of seen her as silly and funny and great, super talented, but I don't, and I always thought she was fine, but- Man, I was, first of all, Issa Rae is gorgeous, mm. and that's just a fact. And that's gorgeous. first. Right. But um, Lakeith Stanfield, like I'm, see, like I feel like that's our next guy. Like he's the next dude to run with. Like he's just so versatile in what he's able to do. Pause Little, for a second. He might be of this class yes. of new actors. Yeah. <clears throat> do you consider Mahershala new? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, he's head and shoulders above the rest of the people. No, I, I, I'm Mahershala. At, is, Mahershala is like, yeah, he he, he is like he has two He's lights out. Yeah, he's killing. He has never but, missed anything. But Lakeith is just. Am I so what do you Lakeith? call him? Lakeith. Lakeith. You're just black. The okay. Lakeith. The Keith is a black <laughs> thing. We just put that F okay. where the TH should be. No, he, that's your heritage. Let me let me tell you. I have a, I have a theory, and this is this is what I would say. First of all, I thought the movie was amazing. Instant classic. I cried. An amazing. You film. cried? I absolutely cried. Why are you cried? At the end. At the end, I was just like, "Oh!" I took him. Tony looked over at me like I, I cried. At the climax of about the Tony film, is Kiara is taller than her. Exactly, and that is. freaks me. It <laughs> makes me laugh. <laughs> so they were on. They were on either side of me, and I think I was the only one that started. You didn't cry in the movie. No, 
I absolutely cried. What made you cry? Be- just the, the the conclusion of it. I was just really? like, this. It was one of the. I and it was really, know why you cried. Well, because I can see myself in them. Yeah, it's never too late for us. I, people like me can find love. Ain't abandonment issues. Yes. Boy. Oh, it was right up my alley. I was like, this is black excellence on the screen, and I'm so excited because you know, and this, and then I'll I'll stop and let you talk. I it, it the, the the thing that I love the most about it is that it was an all black cast and it didn't feel like a black movie. Wow. It just felt like a movie that happened to have black people in it. And I, I couldn't have been more impressed. I agree with a lot of what you said. Here's what I like the most. First, Lil Rail. I was gonna say Lil Rail. Freaking Does he now, not I, own every scene he's in? Everything ever. Okay, so let me tell you about Lil Rail for uh-huh, a second. Right. One of his biggest fans, me this too. guy. Yes. Melissa and I, our first apartment, okay, mm. Lil Rail was on Bad Boys of Comedy. Diddy's, remember that? Mm. Diddy's Bad way Boys of Comedy? Uh-huh. Let me see if this clip is on here. He did a joke on there. Is that hey, the one we talking about the man? Uh, uh, my anniversary is, fried rice. Oh yeah! Oh, can't yeah, have yeah. Oh. Can I have? I want. Can I have? What I the, want. Classic. Oh my god! He Jesus, he's absolutely. Josh, you were a child out. when Little Rail came out. I yes. doesn't mean I don't enjoy Little Rail now. No, now you do, but you don't. You can't fully appreciate it. Yeah, how, how are you going to say I can't fully appreciate it? Because you don't know him, Joshua. You're 11 years <laughs> old. I, I don't know him personally. Of course not. <laughs> I've seen him a couple times in person. He's... Little Rail used to have the mohawk. This was uploaded in 2011. <laughs> I'm looking for a blind dime. I How can't play the he? whole thing. Okay. He's Shout out to him because wow. he is making films so, better with Lil his presence. Lil Rel, out of this world. Yes. Love, love, love. Mm-hmm. Issa, 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 big boss status Woo! ain't no secret. A eh? come on. How you just Issa's a boss, bruh? Uh, <laughs> I'll give it to you. Here's what I loved about it. Mm-hmm. I like that there was no trauma no in trauma. this movie. It was None. fun. It was light. Uh-huh. It was fun. Yes. I'm, I, for some, I've got doggone, I'm expecting a cop to show up, <laughs> somebody to get punched. <laughs> right. There was literally no Nothing. racism, None. no racism office. None. It was just... A, a a love story. And it was okay. Great. There was nothing. There was no inherent trauma. There was no no super villains. There was no super villains. Um, I don't really watch many romantic films. I wish I realized when I was watching this. Mm-hmm. So I like that we you know because so as black people we always complain that we don't have no regular movies. Right. It's always slave movie this mm-hmm. or trauma movie that like or comedy. Mm-hmm. We don't have these light delicate films just like right? this right. Written and directed by a black woman. I did not know that. Stella really? Stella Maggie, yes. Oh. You can always tell, I think, when a black person has directed a black film, mm. slight, it feels a little more authentic. The music was immaculate. The music for oh, this movie. God, you will love this, great. Joshua. Oh, Joshy God. You will love oh, yeah. this. Lucky oh, Day's in it. Hers in good. it. It, it has, started. But it started off with um with Ari's Anderson in Park. Uh, the music supervisor, I think. Oh, I forgot her name. She's young though. The first, the first opening shot, Anderson Pack music, blasted, amazing. I'm going tonight. It is great Josh. tonight being Sunday. Okay, and it felt so lush. He's going to just go to the the extended version. <laughs> oh, oh Ari. it was amazing. Boom, boom, boom. And oh, it was Chicago and it was, boy. Oh, oh, Chicago boy. Come on. I felt like I was about to listen to Shea Butter Baby. Like right. play the whole thing. Play the whole. They, and they cut it Bro, short. It was. But here's the other thing. They have so it's a story of uh, her mom mm-hmm. and a love lost, right? And then Issa and a love present, right? Mm-hmm. But the music in the story vacillates between the present day oh, that, love story oh, music. It's great, and so then they'll Josh. go from like something like Ari to when it's her mom's story, they'll mm-hmm. go to Anita Baker, yes. one of my favorite musicians <laughs> my whole I didn't even, life. That was a good cast from you. I didn't even realize they were doing that, but yes. I do now and I love that too. It was so good. Those are those details though that make a, a whole experience out of a movie. And that's the difference. So the music. The Anita Baker choice, big fan my whole life, loved her. <laughs> right. Right? You've said uh, this plenty of times. Anita Baker's music isn't always in film. 
when it's a it's mm. when it's not a black music supervision person, you won't get Ari. Mm. You won't get Lucky Day. You'll mm. get popular music. Right. Like you might. I don't even know if you'll get the Anderson. Pa- so when the Anderson, Anderson Sang come pa- on, oh. right? Anita Baker is famous, but she's much more important to black people mm-hmm. than 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 white people. They don't know her as much as we do, right? Mm. So I feel like things like that. That like. I can't remember the last time I went to a movie where I knew freaking almost every song Bro. selected in a movie, right? Mm. So I love that. Mm. The comedy part was very like it wasn't forced. It, it wasn't was, corny. It was very natural. None of it was corny. Issa was funny. Issa's comedy I like. Lisa, Issa's oh. very around the way home. Issa feels like she'll be home. Issa should come on game night. Absolutely. She's like, on she game just night. seems it's just. I'm gonna invite her. I'm gonna hit her up. Just, I might not get hit back, hit back, but I'm gonna hit her up. Hit her up. Yeah. Big East, but even Cam, like Big new East. office, you, even us, the, game night. Know your biz. <laughs> biz is short for busy, right? I, like the, the crazy thing about with Issa is, I don't know. I think I've just been just so impressed by her creativity that I never even thought like leading woman like actress. But you never thought that from she, Insecure. No, I I did, but I guess I was just wrapping Film? it up in the fact that she it was her show. You know what I mean? So is the movie different from the film for yes. you? Yes, and this is where I thought that I, this is what I thought was going to be a misstep that they had the guy, one of the guys that that played um, one of the characters that did uh, it. He mom. played Daniel. Yes, in uh, the show, I was like, no, don't do this. I'm not going to be able to separate it. But I didn't feel any. He's a really good actor. He is a He's really the real deal. Good actor, Shout out, man. and I, I'm telling you, bro. I have a, and the guy who played the older version of him. I think he was in Just Mercy. He was good. And the guy that he played um, Lakeith's, Lakeith's uh, assistant. I was like, who is this young guy? Everybody I was good. just like, everybody is killing it. And Chelsea it. Peretti from uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine was there. She's the was only white person that was even any remotely. Right. And I liked her. I liked she, she, she was really funny in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And this is another thing about the movie. Because you know I'm currently writing a movie for you and Tony Baker. R- Let me pause this. you right now okay. and tell y'all something. <laughs> what Matthew Cherry did with Hair Love, winning the Oscar, and now he's been tweeting like... When he said, yo, I got an idea for an Oscar winning short film four years ago, he tweeted this. And then he just got it. And then he just won the Oscar for his idea that he had four years ago. That, you gotta First be of all, very you gotta specific have the video. With your so goals. let me tell y'all watching now so y'all can t- timestamp this. Mm-hmm. We finna change the game. Mm-hmm. Hollywood ah, yeah. don't have to let us in no. the traditional way. Mm-hmm. We coming up in there oh, yeah. on that independent. This is why Double is working on the movie now. Mm-hmm. So y'all can come back to this podcast and when yes. you see mm-hmm. Kevin on State Studios out of this world, big. Our seventh independent film mm. picked up by this. Come on, big Kev. Budget that. Just I'm gonna tell y'all now. Watermark we starting this. with the video, the short form. Yes. Okay. Mm. We went to All Deaf, which was like digital media college for us. Oh, we yeah. learned how to produce at this level. We'll forever be grateful Always. for those four years. It mm-hmm. was digital media college for all of us. Yes. Me, Josh, Doughboy. You want to talk about somebody who acted like knew they were, what they were doing at a job? <laughs> Me. Hello? Didn't know what I was doing. I didn't Mark, even have a job title. And I, I just created degree. it in my Double head. was just up in there. <laughs> what is your title? I'd be up in stuff. <laughs> but now we are really, tra- and this is what I love about our team. We're not satisfied with podcasts and short form video. Mm-mm. Our dream was always television and movies. Oh, yeah. And we are going, we are working to do this. So that's Feverously. another reason why I like the movie. It's seeing people who are in your class and in your age group mm-hmm. like like Denzel for me is very different Denzel mm-hmm. Brad Pitt even right, Shonda guys that Rhimes, came up yeah they they well they've been Denzel for specifically Spike Lee they've been mm-hmm. stars our whole life right it's one thing for Denzel to win and Spike Lee to win they've been famous forever right but for Issa Rae who I remember when my right. boy Lul my college friend was like, I was at his house kicking it, mm-hmm. and he said, have you heard of this YouTube web series called Awkward Black Girl? And I was like, no, nah, I never heard of it. He showed me the pilot, wow. and I was like, this is the best thing I've ever seen. It wow. was so, and the pilot for that is like three minutes long. Really? Yeah, have you seen it? I have Awkward not Black seen it, I need to watch it. Because I know, well, but she, that's what she will go down in urban folklore like of Absolutely. somebody who changed the mode but of everything. But watch the first episode. Mm-hmm. You, it'll set the it'll set the 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 you'll see what Issa is now you'll right. see she had it way back right because you because you it's like she gave us something that we needed and we didn't even know that we needed exactly. it exactly and speaking of when you need stuff now listen when you need red wine at four at four p.m. you know I don't drink but if you have to have some red wine at four p.m. or sushi at nine p.m. a breakfast burrito at eight a.m. or a burger ibuprofen, at nine a.m. you know an ibuprofen at ten a.m. 
Postmate it. You understand? Oh, Postmate is your oh, personal yeah. food and grocery delivery solution. Postmate sponsorship. So we no got more a trips. So no more trips to the store. You don't even need to. You don't even have to know where the store is. Postmates will deliver Ooh. anything to you. Now, remember last week when I thought I was close to death, when I thought I was dying, mm-hmm. and I was totally sick because I had food poisoning. Tony was out. She was gone, and I was by myself. I had to order some stuff. So what did I do? I hopped on Postmates. I got everything I need: cough drops, random stuff that I needed because I thought I had a cold and different things. Ordered a bunch of stuff, and then I nursed myself back to help health. Thank you to Postmates. Let now, me tell you what I did. What'd you do? Flying back from Chicago today. Oh, okay. my. I already know this. Oh, in Lord. the car. Okay. <laughs> We're hungry. Mm-hmm. We Postmates three different orders. Me and Melissa ordered something. Mm-hmm. Isaiah wanted something different from Postmates. Mm-hmm. And Joe wanted something different. Mm-hmm. Send the Postmates so that five minutes after we arrive at our home, Come on. Is, isn't Who's it so here? convenient? It uh, makes life a yeah. lot easier. Now, listen to this. They're the largest 24-hour on-demand network in the U.S. Just download the app for iOS and Android for free. Browse local restaurants and businesses and track your delivery in real time. Now, listen to this. Listen, for yes. a limited time, Postmates is giving our listeners $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days. Wait, to start we, your we free deliveries, download the app and <laughs> use code that, RR. R R. That's called R R. R R. One hundred dollars of free delivery credit on your first seven days when you download the I'm Postmates app. Anything you need, anytime you need it, Postmate it. Download Postmates and save with the code R R. R R. Whoa, maybe Hold I need on. to open up these ads before we start reading. Bro, we, we got away a post- a First of all, we got Postmates. We got a Postmates ad? And second of all, we giving away a hundred? God is moving his hand over this podcast. How did we find this out we were reading this, man? This Bro. is Melissa's work, by the way. Wow. Melissa was like, we need to get these people that we use. Wow. Postmates, I use a very much lot. Wow. That's why, and that's why you was asking for my Postmates info. Man, come on, guys. You didn't even have Postmates. I <laughs> now I got it now. And you got a Honda? A Honda? Wow. I wow. love Look at God, God out here showing. I'm gonna save my shit, out. my all my personal stories let, for future ads. Let me tell you, let me tell you my theory <laughs> on what I believe about black cinema. I believe there was a moment in black cinema right around 1988. I've always thought this when Eddie Murphy made Boomerang, and it was such a smart, dope comedy that had black people in it, mm-hmm. and it wasn't a black movie. And I feel like something happened after that. What do you that. mean it wasn't a black movie? It was like, it was just, it was a great movie and there was just happened to be a whole black cast. And I remember there was an interview one time and somebody was asking him like, why, you know, aren't there any white people in it? And he had said something to, you know, whatever in the interview. But my theory is, whatever happened around that time, I felt like Eddie stopped making movies like that. And then he kind of, for whatever reason, started making like funny. Yeah, because he had Harlem Nights. Yeah, had, like, and America. then something changed. And yeah. I felt like that resurgence came back around like a time, around the time that Love Jones came out, Brown Sugar. I felt like we had a moment yep. there. But I feel like now it's back. You got to watch. They gotta it made me want to write Netflix. a movie. It made me be like, I want to write something that because it was very real. Watch, they've got to have us on Netflix. They I just started on the plane. Yeah, okay. it's about black cinema. I'm, okay. on, I'm only halfway through the first episode, which is about the pioneers and stuff, like okay. Harry Bel- Belafonte, um, Robert Townsend, mm-hmm. and it, it will it will get you like super excited. But they the reason I bring it up is that Barry Jenkins said almost the exact same thing. He's the guy who directed Moonlight. Okay, and he was like, "There's a you know like uh, you wouldn't have been able to make that movie before. It's about right. black." Dark skinned gay men. Oh. And it, the budget was like, I don't want to get it wrong, but the budget was small and it made a lot. And it won an Oscar. Remember that's the one when the La La Land won? And then it was like Psych Moon, Moon, Moonlight won. Oh, Moon, okay. Oh, that was that movie that you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, you've been watching okay. Moons Over My Hammy. Shut up. But it's a simple. <laughs> He's watching Moon Pie. By the no. way, pause everything. Okay. Well, how many more thoughts do you have on the photograph? I thought it was the best movie of the year easily, and I hope that it's up for Oscar contention. And it it, it changed me walking out of it. So what Oscar would you feel like it should be nominated for? Movie of the year. Best picture. Best picture. That was good, because it was good like that. Photograph? Yes. Oh Already? I, I love Doughboy, bro. It, because, if he's bro, in, he's It was all just great. In, it was a great film. Let me tell you what I really liked about it. Okay. It told a story of love. Okay. Between generations, through the lens of this photograph, Issa's that is character, a very good elevator pitch, and Issa's mom, her love lost and a love found, um, through decisions made. 
And are we gonna are we gonna be the ones that repeat our parents' mistakes, or are we gonna make the choice to be different? And I think that's why I loved it too, because I felt like it really spoke to me. Yeah, it made me feel like you'll be all right. Some of us just get it later. Some of us just get it later, and that's okay. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. But just did for, you think you weren't gonna find love? I did for years. Side note, man, uh, there was something that kind of serious. Like I'm, I've been like bouncing back and forth, and I kind because I know we just want to be, just I, I know that we're live. <laughs> oh, man, sorry, I'm uh, trash. I'm trapped. We know. I, I want to talk about it. But no, you had something else you no, want to no, talk we'll about. No, no, we'll talk about it. No, what else did you want to talk no, about? No, no, we'll talk about you being trash. It seems like it's more closely aligned with the photograph. <sighs> yes, because I don't know how to be a good man in a relationship sometimes. Ho, 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 ho. That was heavy. I knew it was going to go heavy any direction. And I was scared. Oh, you never know what double it could be. I Listen. have gray hairs. And Tony will probably I'm... kill me for talking about it, but I got to speak my own truth. You want to call She's her? She's in here right it's now. I'll I'll deal with I, we don't have to deal with I'll deal with it. But I, I, this is who I am. Let me say it before I just go back into my shell. Hey, Let man, me tell you I'm one of the problems of being married to or being with people like us. Melissa actually said this. When you are with people like us, your whole life becomes content. Yes. It's an unfortunate side effect of being because we're comedians too mm -hmm. that stuff is going somewhere it's how yeah. we process now that we have podcasts we just got too much stuff to talk about and our personal life they yeah. call me we i gotta talk about my and this sex is like life. i almost I, <laughs> on like, the love hour right yeah, there's some a, things i've said bruh <laughs> what i said on the last bonus bruh i was just Woo! like wow yeah hey hey <laughs> so you know i understand so but and this is the, the crazy thing Let is like what I, tony's gonna say i, I, I wanted to first. call you and ask you about it because you know it's just uh -huh. i just needed advice so um i'll just be honest and, and, and it's okay because i was the one that that messed up so i almost like in, like almost because of my behavior, got my relationship ended on me. Time Tony, out. Uh -oh. Tony, uh -oh. Tony uh -oh. says, wait, wait till, till after the love, the love hour. hour, Anthony Dwight. Oh. That, she that's has one middle dark. name. That's that's fair. I Listen, <laughs> I love you. I love good content. Let's respect okay, that. Okay. She, respect the respect. She is you with Anthony Dwight. And we're doing that bonus episode this week. Okay. So, but just know, I need to talk to you about it. Oh, I, we're well, going to we cut the cameras. <laughs> Hey, yes. cut the camera. No, okay. no, we'll cut the camera. Okay. So uh, here's what I was going to say. <laughs> Let's just hold that for the bonus. Okay, okay. Some things is family only. Some things is family. And we are going to talk about that on We're the, talking about Love Hour After Dark. Okay. 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 And she went Dwight on you. Okay. Uh, Dwight around my the, lips. Because I was going to call her like, I ain't got a number. Because I don't want to add n to I, no stress. Thank oh, yeah. you for always having my back. Here's what I was going to say. Okay. 253. Come on. Listen. Anthony okay. Doughboy D Belcher, whom okay. I've known for many a year. Yes. What five years going on our fifth yes. year of friendship now? Uh, yeah. Um, well, we just hit five years. Okay. In 2019, I met you in 2014. Was it really? Yeah. Remember? 2020. Remember, remember the first battle? Yeah. Battle rappers are ridiculous. I got in trouble for that. Yeah, I know. Well, I but that led to which was first? Uh, Twelve hours of blood or that? I think we shot Battle Raps Are Ridiculous first. Right. Okay. And then we did Twelve hours. I think of blood. that was a full day. Yeah, I wasn't yeah, even there. Yeah. They were right. there. Um, when I met you then, I big was boy, four, I was 480. Oh, I was in very much 480s. 480, uh -huh. wow. weight loss surgery. Weight loss surgery in 2015. Yo-yo, back yo -yo and forth, diet, up and down, um, alcoholism. Rehab, alcoholism. And to be 253, I don't even know how to process it. I, I, I found myself crying yesterday, and that's why I jumped in the, uh, the chat and uh, I stopped listening to everybody. Let me tell you everybody. about it. Oh, my. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> Doughboy is a trash group chat person. I am. We have a real comedian social media chat. Mm. Uh, that we've had since the tour. We're talking about Jason's birthday. We're celebrating him. <laughs> Doughboy comes in. Man, I was crying. <laughs> We're like, yo, Doe, we, we was talking about something. Because he just did this like three days ago. Uh, yo, Doe, like, yo, check the group. Scroll up before you jump in with something. Yo, all right, my bad, y'all. Then today, man, I was crying, bro. So then we like, yo, scroll up, Doe. He's like, oh, yeah, happy birthday, Jay. Man, I was just sad. Bro, because it's, 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 it's a... And it's not necessarily a sad thing. It's just learning. Like when I said that I would get down to 225 pounds and I'm 486, I think a lot of it is just you just hoping for the best. Dope boy willing I throw into myself, whatever. like I just make myself believe things that I don't really believe, but I yeah. just do it anyway. But you got to understand, bro, the 250 thing, the reason why it's so important. I have not been this size since 2001. The last time I remember being this close to this weight, I was 245 pounds 
in 2001 and I remember it was on October 6th and I remember walking into my boy Specs house and I cuz I cuz I was listening to the uh to the to the blueprint and I remember he had a song called You Don't Know and I remember walking in saying you are now looking at 245 man I like flipped the lyric but I was joking around and then after that I stopped eating good and the next time I weighed myself was in February of the next year and for the first time I was 300 pounds and I never got under 300 pounds until 2016 so you know what I'm saying yeah. and so and I very much I've been yo-yo guy this entire time and so to actually be in 250 at 253 pounds it's like and to be 28 pounds away from 225 bro i've been trying Wait, to lose weight since that? i was 10 years 28 pounds so you're only 28 pounds from 28 your pounds goal? away from a goal that i didn't think was real to begin with so as i'm getting closer to it wow and it's like i don't even like some bro I, i'm looking at myself in the mirror now and i don't even recognize myself like i seem i've seen a jawline i was like I see my Adam's apple the other day. I was just like, what? You saw your Adam's apple pie. <laughs> so it's just like, Let me I don't slide. know. And it's just crazy because I've literally been trying to lose weight since I was 10 years old. And me and my best friend, Justin, at the time, we were we both got on the scale and we were both 100 pounds at 10. God and we, did, we didn't know what was going on, but Ooh. we were just like, we probably shouldn't be this big. <laughs> Scale was and so like, then we were just fat. So, and I remember like, as, <laughs> so bro, be this and I, I, I've dri I've driven myself <laughs> insane over the years. I remember a couple of the day before I started seventh grade, I realized I'm fat, oh. and I was like, I gotta do something. What at what point were they? Playing I started secret playing bro, tag. Like, I started running laps. Start? Listen to it. I started running laps around my living room <laughs> the day before I started seventh grade because I felt like I needed some card. Like I thought I could lose weight by the next day. I got kicked off of a uh, off of a off of a roller coaster, which is the most embarrassing thing you're ever gonna go through. Like oh, I've man. had very humiliating experiences in my life because of my weight, and so to be this close, I just I, I think that sometimes I just I go back to self sabotage, like I always do. I get to a goal and then I do something to push me far away from it, yeah. and now I'm not doing that. And so it's just, bro, it's it's starting to affect me in different ways coming to grips with it. And I don't really know how I to think deal you are with soup. it. I think it's you should feel your feelings. Yes. You should go to therapy. I think there's a lot of uh I'm telling you to go to therapy and I'd be like, I'm not going to therapy on my own. So <laughs> therapy. Just get no. talk space, man. <laughs> talk space, man. But it's not like, what? No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. What? Go no. Ahead. No, you know. No, go ahead. <laughs> uh I think in when you deal with the underlying issues. It'll be a lot easier to understand mm. the the success you you are enjoying, and you should be able to sustain it more because I think yes. with alcoholism and overeating, both of those things are symptoms of internal issues that that you didn't deal with that mm. allowed you to get to over four hundred pounds and allowed you to, um, or not allowed you, but are part of the reason why you suffer with alcoholism. Right. And, and if you don't, if you get to two twenty five, which everything's all signs point to that, right. and I'll be there um, with the donut uh, <laughs> to, to congratulate you. But when you get there, those feelings will still be those feelings. And that's what I'm starting to, like, I don't want to say worry about, but it's just like, and this might sound stupid. And no, okay. it probably no, will. But I feel like I've been trying to lose weight my entire life, and I feel like once I get to this point, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. When you achieve your goal? Yeah, because this is something that I've literally been trying to do every day of my life. Do you since think that's I can part of the reason you. why you haven't done it? Yes, because I feel like, what am I supposed to do when I'm done? Then what will push me? What so will... you know what a lot of bodybuilders do. But I feel stupid for feeling that way. Why? That's, a, that's a normal. Feel your feelings. I don't know. Make I just room for them, man. Yeah, make room for your. Why, was, why is that dumb? I don't know. Because I'm just like, I, I, it's, it's, it's become so ingratiated as a part of my life that I don't know what to do once I get there, bro, imagine you. imagine what it's gonna feel like once you do get to that. And you're like, man, if I'm able to do that, what else can I check off this list that I've been meaning to do my whole life? I'm telling you, you 100% agree with Joshua Gonzalez. Oh, Two, man. you also okay. I got to 225. Now what do I want to do? Do I want to bulk up? Do I want to be able to bench 225 15 times? Do I want to be able to run a like? You can always find. Uh, ways to challenge yourself or you can say okay what do I need to do to maintain this way and with the amount of energy I was expending working out to get down to this what can I do for my personal career 
So now I'm right. 225. Maybe it only takes because now you're doing an hour of cardio, cardio in the morning, cardio. and then you you and hit then your I trainer lift the weights five times a week. Okay, so maybe you're like, okay, now I can cut down. I'm not. I'm just right. saying, maybe 30 minutes of cardio and 30 minutes of lifting weights. Yeah, is because all it now takes. it's maintenance. And now it's versus... maintenance. So with that 45 minutes, maybe I can dedicate that to writing, mm. or I can work on strength training. Or I can learn to kickbox or whatever. Like whatever you can new. always bodybuilders who do this professionally always have something new. Even if it's just I need more definition in my traps or my lats or my legs are not as strong. They, you know what I'm saying? Like you can always find a physical thing to work on that you can focus on. Or you can say I want to get up to 245, but I want to be beasty. And that's another thing too that I, now I'm gonna have to start having a conversation, and it's something that I'm super sensitive about. But even like with skin removal now, like at this point, it becomes like. I gotta like have the conversation because now it's like no matter how many weights I lift or how much running I'm gonna do, you know, like now it's like, you know, and I think a lot of the reason why I, I kind of shy away from that conversation is because, you know, I got weight loss surgery, you know what I mean? Like I had to go under a knife to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm like, I'm not gonna do that again unless it's ultimately necessary. But at yeah. the same time, I'm just like, I guess I have to, you know, be a little bit more open. Well, I think that's a, that, yeah, that's a, know. that's a thing you can, uh, but I mean, I, but, 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 but before you even keep that thing going, one thing that I have figured out though is that, you know, I did learn a skill in doing all of this and and losing weight and working out and eating right, and and I probably should share those skills with the world. So speaking of Skillshare, Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. You know I'm trying to build my YouTube page, Kevin, so I've been happy to get my thing going on like, you know, photography, so I definitely hopped up into Skillshare. I'm learning how to take better pictures so I can place those on my thumbnails for YouTube. It's a whole thing. Now listen this. You can learn and grow with short classes I that quit. fit your busy routine. Skillshare <laughs> is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. Now listen this. Skillshare is a proud sponsor of Righteous and Ratchet. Explore your creativity at Skillshare.com backslash RR and get two free months of premium membership. That's two whole months of unlimited access to thousands of classes for free. Get started and join the day by heading to Skillshare.com backslash RR. R &R. That's Skillshare.com backslash RR. Ah! I was really legit listening to you. <laughs> I was like, was it a skip? <laughs> like, I didn't I realize still... we were at ad time. It was, I've uh... been trying to like it's so funny because I legitimately out. get you every time. It's a whole Did you see my on. balls in that camera? Ah, just, no. Melissa kept calling me a thought because I'd be wearing the sweatpants and my balls be like, yo, I want to talk on the podcast. <laughs> we got some things we want to talk about. Yeah, man. We the South got something to say. That works on so hard. You got it. You got it. I knew I was just trying. I didn't know if that was going to hit. Very low under, under the peen as well. On, it's like always the Johnson. <laughs> Never the Howard. Welcome to Atlanta with a... <laughs> the South got Come something on. to say. <laughs> wow. I was watching that real time. For real? I was watching the, that award show. That was and I was lit. living in the South. And I was like, yeah, Andre. <laughs> you didn't have nothing to say. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we do, don't we? But at that but time, it said. was like <laughs> East Coast, West Coast every day. Mm -hmm. Like enough. I was like, bro, enough. Somebody Outcast, else. Bro, when we, I live in North Carolina at the time. When Outcast was releasing those albums, we find, we, mm -hmm. I don't even live in the South for like three years, but you <laughs> are who you're around. <laughs> you live there though. But it was during the East Coast, West Coast beef. And it was like, that was all rap, all the source. That's it was all, all it was. was like, like, I'm sure you guys were like enough. Yeah. Enough. So I was going to black high schools in North Carolina that had the bands, you know? Mm -hmm. So the high school, like E.E. E. Smith, Westover, 71st, they would be playing outcast at the bands and stuff at the, in the you know, the, um, the halftime show. Right. And I was like, bro, like mainstream wasn't ever really, really rock with it. But on the South, like that's all we heard. I remember the first time I heard. I remember the first time I heard Players Ball. I was like, who bro, are man, these you know, guys? Do or die, Pope Pimpin'? Oh. P-I-M-P. You was Pope Boy Pimpin'. <laughs> 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 but yes, man. Thank you. Oh, Thank man. you for breaking that up because I was starting to get a little, a little emotional. Listen, man. About let things, me tell man. you what. We getting old, bro. We you are. Have, let me tell you what. I'm, I'm learning are. about my body 
there is a and I, I, I'm not a professional athlete. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine what a professional athlete goes through. Mm-hmm. In my mind, I am more athletic than I really am. <laughs> that's right? funny. When I, I that's raced the flaw Doughboy, of man. when we raced, mm. I was sore for like three weeks. And it don't go away. In the groin three times. areas. Mm. We played basketball. Ugh. My back was hurting for two weeks. And we had I, three shows the yes, next three days. Stupid. Mm. And we were on Idiot. like slick, <laughs> slick what basketball were we, court. Why are we so dumb as men? competitive. But here's the thing. <laughs> After I work out now, I have to stretch. Oh, yeah. If I don't stretch, my hips will tighten up and then my back will hurt. It happened at the La Brea show. You were there. And then also, I can't do heavy impact thing. My, my left knee been bad since I tore my That's ACL. So I don't run. So I've been doing jumping. You know, when I lift, mm-hmm. right, I've been doing a lot of lifting. Uh, jump rope, lift, jump Watch rope. Out so I'll be doing. Be careful with the jump rope well, too. Well, here's the thing. It's just, it's all on the knees. My We're knees old. start hurting. Walked, bro, just walk. I'm, Trust I'm me. going to try the doughboy approach. Try it. Low impact. An hour, for the next six weeks. Four I'm miles an do hour. Low, I've been doing the pool. Which, you good. Let me tell you what. Pool will change your life. Yeah, they'll drown. When you're a child and uh-huh. you're at the pool. And you get out, you be so hungry. You never thought about that, right? But, th- but <laughs> That's two. But I was always so hungry. <laughs> But two, when you are like swimming in Olympics, because the gym I go mm-hmm. to, it's Olympic sized pool. Swimming that, bro, oh. I'd be legit out of breath. It's full, sweating. And it's full body. It's everything, and your core is keeping you floating. Yes. Yeah, so I, I'm realizing like, if I don't stretch for real, I will be hurt. And you, and there's, like, and, and, and then you, and then there's nothing you can do once you get in. Can you imagine being like Vince Carter, who at one point could. Throw his elbow into a basketball rim. Mm-hmm. And he's still playing in the league, right? right? That is but six, seven years from now, when he can't dunk, or an NFL player, like how nimble and fast you, like, I was never that good of an athlete. I was just out here playing sports. So it doesn't really hurt me. Like, <laughs> it's not like I used to be able to dunk crazy. No, right, but you still had athletics to a certain level, though. And now when we go, when we when I was playing you, I was like, there were so many moves I used to be able to do. And you just can't. And it, I used to play basketball for five, six hours, then ride my bike. It's like your mind still remembers that it can do it, but your body is like, eh. Your body is like, nah, do it if bro. you want to. That's and that just, is big trash. Yeah. But you inspired me. You just inspired, I read your comment. First of all, I'd be your biggest champion oh, because I no knew problem, you, I like here's the thing that I like so much about you in your weight loss journey that I think people can take a lot to you deserve whatever you work for mm. like I always know this is a in in insecure friend or friend moment right. I'm your champion right. but when I see you winning I'm like bro I got to get on my <laughs> workout <laughs> right. right but I'm like bro what am I doing that's keeping me from working out and it's this. Mm-hmm. Right, right. It's three podcast. Well, three on Kevin State Studios. All deaf. It's traveling. It's performing. So it's like what I put above weight loss right. is mm-hmm. my career. Mm-hmm. Like I'm trying to get a house. I'm right. trying to cover the cost of this. Uh-huh. It ain't no <laughs> and they want it every month, apparently. For Who five not? years, I put the <laughs> first last down. And y'all, they're gonna and come on March first. Like, hey, this still makes you first and last. Yes. Woo. I know how to do it. <laughs> a lot. At what? Bro, so here's the funny thing. Right? So we moved in. I did the first and last, right? Woo. And then oh. she was like, also, but you need the f- your first month. You're wait, like, wait, like, wait. The first well, month was the hey, next Wait, week. when you say first ma'am, and last, ma'am, I thought said first this, was. This first? There's the, first, last, and then there's another first? Then, But no, no, because they gave us early access. Then once we started, the next month was already started. Oh, <laughs> so you had to so, prorate that. Ah, Ugh. I was like, why y'all? Why you why? so much? <laughs> what's f- like, what's you, 15 and days? And here's what you got to understand. <laughs> the last of a five-year lease. So this lease goes up 3% every year. Oh, your last isn't the same as your first. It's the last with the 3% increase times oh, over five, five years. years. That's 15%. I have to pay the last of what this rent is gonna cost five years from now. I had to pay it last month. <laughs> I was like, Oh wait, wait, you gotta pay the the last. Oh at wait, the that's very not fair. End. That's not, bro. That's not fair. The least, the least they could have done was give you the fifteen oh, days, bro. No. Nobody's even here. Nobody's no in here right now. Padding for inflation. They they baked in the. So they're, I'm oh, learning a lot man. about the game. The, the, the racism office. They weren't playing above the board. Right. That lease was the same. <laughs> right. The five. They, the, this all on the up. So and they up? calculated like your stay here. If this I is I the, sign a ten year lease. The, they can they bake in three percent every. So oh, this nah, every every nah. every uh March first when it runs back around, gonna be like, hey man, three percent increase, three percent increase, three percent increase, three percent increase. 
And you did not know this going into I didn't, it. I'm learning. That would have been a deal breaker for me. I would have been like, I am out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Business. They do a lot more. So the reason we got the LED lights and this and that, mm-hmm. the longer the lease you sign, the more they're willing to do. They put the sink in. You know, you do sign a 10-year lease. They're like, man, yeah, I'll man. live up here. You can live up in here for that. <laughs> but they really? like clean. They take the, I don't We didn't even notice. They take Every the night. trash out here. When oh, I shot the Gazi tapes, they walked in. upgrade. They got a cafe in here. Yes. But that's why you get the 3%. They got security. They got fobs. We got all kind of stuff. But you also got to pay the last oh, of five yeah, years. Yeah, you, <laughs> so, but I said all that to say, you were you hit me the other week and you were like, Kev, let me explain something clearly to you. You schedule our shoots, I will be there. You were like, I don't travel. I just got this <laughs> and the movie to work on. Just schedule. You basically told me to shut up in the nicest way <laughs> right. possible. Yeah. Shut up and just be here, right? So I realized like you have been having... Because the competitor in me is like, let me. I'm, what, let me tell you, I'm not gonna do. <laughs> let Doughboy be 225 while I'm 250. <laughs> just want to. We're just her. built like that. <laughs> I just can't. Right, exactly. Right? But I can't necessarily create more time. So I was right. like, let me let me cut to like more cardio. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, man, I gotta. I don't want to be skinny and and look weird. But then I was like, <laughs> it looks fine on Doughboy. <laughs> I will be doing that. <laughs> but I realized what's imp- and this is why I, weight why weight loss never is top of the line for me because mm-hmm. for me it's like I, I want to get to making movies mm-hmm. I want to cover the cost of all my stuff I want to buy a house in mm-hmm. LA my kids are <laughs> Zay Zay's four years from college Bro, how you dealing with that because I ain't dealing so well yes. I ain't dealing so I'm well with this. yes yes you this are is, let it happen no no this is no, sheer give frustration the other cold open. It's, no no it's not it's avoiding not God first of all they think I'm crying in every episode <laughs> I'm not. I'm just more like, fam, these kids really are f- going to grow. This is, yeah. A boy got They're Kiara a Valentine's Gram. A Valen what? A val- like a, you know how they, how like they give. <laughs> you said a Gram like a, a Telegram. Gram, like a, no, did you say Valentine's? Valentine's, yes. No, but then he said Gram like Gram. a Gram. Did you say time? <laughs> yes, you know, it was just Friday. Valentine's. Time, time. Time. Como un N. Like that's a whole joke on the internet that black people say Valentine's, but then you did say it. You did say it. It's... It's, it, this is really a thing. People are talking about this. Really? I mean, you said Valentine. It. You Listen, said I'm more it. concerned that uh, some dude didn't got Kiara. Before that, <laughs> that's before the gram, the grammar. Valentine. Somebody got her a cracker. Valentine gram. Okay, Carried when you say M. like that, it just sounds weird. <laughs> also, Mexican people really stepped it up on Valentine's Day. Oh, they just they, you here. see us hustling. Get the Where stuff. Where we get these Joshua roses? Man, I don't know. All the red but I and bought the some. and the balloons. They all my favorite fruit carts. They didn't have oh, fruit. No, they no. Had everybody switched nah, over to no. teddy bears. This, 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 this will let you know that I live in a very heavily populated uh, Mexican community. That's the whole valley, baby. They at the CVS. First of all, it's like CVS Imas. Like for real. That's for real though. That's the whole thing. I never seen that before. It's new. They had nothing but balloons for valentines all of them were in spanish <laughs> i was just like well i'm just i don't Bro, know what it says we be reading neighborhood it's E-mas? 95 percent yeah you know what he mocks me you're a quarter mexican and i'm more. an eighth mm-hmm. he's 100 percent. but why put that is i don't it was just it attracts the demo man when i go to the bank no. of america by my house every you know the signage like mm-hmm. come in from everything's in spanish every customer's in spanish debito have you <laughs> should we, should, <laughs> But Should have you lo- looked around though? Yes, Los is. Angeles is mostly Hispanic. Are you guys just realizing that right no, now? I know. I mean, yeah, Elon Musk kind of pushed like, me over the top. It's not a secret. That's like, what I'm like, this bro, is a whole thing. Every, outside of the industry, <laughs> like Hollywood part, yeah, it's, it's mostly like, yeah. It, but it's we're just, around, we're, always, we're just around the five percent or the ten, whatever like percentage of, of the industry mean of the population in LA. Yes. Happens to be that. Unless you that know it's industry. changing when you see Emas. It ain't changing. It's it's the marketing is changing. The bank is like actually, man. But think about it. That Bank of America right over there, bro. Ain't nobody but Mexican people in there. Should we learn Spanish? No. I mean, you I, should. I mean, just it so hurt. You know, I mean, it's not, gonna, it's not knowing Spanish is not going to affect you, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But to honor your culture, you're a quarter Mexican. What about la raza? Okay. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> Kiara is Spanish too, but no, a boy got her. A thing, man. I I don't. It's I don't know, man. She's in ninth grade or tenth. Yeah, she's in ninth. Bro, you got Boys three years. Boys be liking her, oh, man. man. I don't know, man. It's too much. I just wanted to be you a baby. You used to like again. girls. I know, and it's just a whole. It's just weird, man. What's weird? That she's growing up and she's not this little girl anymore. She used to sit right here, Kevin. I here. Know. 
I used to hold Isaiah. He was four pounds, six ounces. I just don't. I saw his little baby head, and he had no fine motor skills. He just. I, 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 and now everything I do is cringe. He I'm got a whole deep voice. I just feel like I just feel like I'm no longer as cool to him anymore. I'll be, be seeing him. I no, no, be like, you're fine. No, I don't feel like I'll be like. You're fine. <laughs> yeah. He actually said you're supposed to send him the movie stuff. I, I need to put him in a thing. He was like, man, I thought I was going to be a part of it. Oh, no, I, I said, like, oh, oh, no, no, that, that's like, my bad. Oh, no, I'll send it. No, I wanted to be a part of yeah, it. Yeah, just text it to him. Yes, though. for sure. All uh, right. Um, but I'm going to tell you what messed me up. The first thing that I realized they were growing up, it wasn't the way they look. It wasn't It wasn't deep voice. It was not. Ugh. It was sarcasm. When I realized they were learning sarcasm, Ugh. I was like, oh, you? Oh, you understand sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're <laughs> funny. You're making jokes. <clears throat> That's crazy. Look, for, look at Doughboy in the Nike dry fit. Shout out to Tony. Tony, side note, how was your 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 uh, your your Valentine your Valentine's Day? Was it good? So shout out to her. She got me this. She got me a Valentine's whole bag of workout Day stuff. Day for me <laughs> was mine was trash. Wait, what's I ain't today? gonna hold you. What is today's date? The sixteenth. Mm -hmm. yeah. Two days ago. Two days. Friday. So we actually celebrated two days early. Because we were going to Chicago for my brother's thing, mm -hmm. we actually had a red eye that day, and we had a whole bunch of crap to do. So we went to Catch LA. Wow. Wait, Catch LA? You got money. What's Catch LA? It is a restaurant that is that's, out of this world. That's where you wanted to go. Oh, that's where I, that, where I was yeah. saying that we were going. That, that's that what Tony had. We never even went out for the two years. Let me tell you what. We should go there. This oh, we got to right. go. We're not we just, going to catch, though. I'm going to tell you that. Wait, we I are going to catch. Oh, yeah. we? Let me tell you what. He wants to tax me because I taxed him so many times. <laughs> catch? Disrespectful here. <laughs> Our reservation was for eight. Okay. Right? We get there, 7.55. Oh, they said eight okay. people. I was like, uh, oh, this no, no, bill is no, no, about no. to be oh, so no. Who do you think I'm? Tyler Perry? <laughs> <laughs> they don't see us till like 8.40. You had a Because it was that popping. Right? I'm like, fam, like, I got stuff to do. They're like. Do you, you had a fly out that night? No, no, no. We celebrated okay. two days early. Gotcha. Okay. okay. So, this is a regular night then. It wasn't. This was so like Wednesday? It was like Wednesday, this on a Wednesday? Catch? It was just Wednesday. Popping oh, in man. there. Leanne V was there. Of course she was. Uh, Day Storms, uh, girl who used to be his assistant she's, official. She, she was with the uh, Don Benjamin. No, he wasn't there. It was like a girls' night out. They all had red dresses on. I'm sure. I'm sure it was. But it was like the club. <laughs> they were at the the bar. <laughs> yeah, catch me. Uh, the bar was popping. It was like ridiculous. that. Just sounds like just too much. But, okay, but it right. was mm -hmm. the most. Right. The most. Mm -hmm. But the food there. What do they specialize in? Seafood. Oh, yes. Do they do they crab do, crab pre -cracked? pre cracked. Crab legs. I'm becoming a, a, cra a crab snob a little bit. Pre-cracked hot crab legs. Creme de la creme. I was cracking my own the other day. I was like, I'm This I, is beneath yeah, you this now. Is this. You're a professional podcaster. You don't crack different. your own crab legs. So y'all, was it was good? It yeah, give was a quick great. preface of the catch experience, though, for everybody who don't really know. Catch what. is a rooftop restaurant. Mm. Freezing, by the way. They had it closed off. Um, how, do, how do you explain it? Was it decadent? It's just it's a it's little bougie. Super bougie. Super pricey. Not for me. <laughs> I was gonna say. I imagine if I said that. you guys that. <laughs> but no, absolutely ridiculous. Like, let me tell you what, like, we be having good, you know, mm. I'm touring now. Yeah, you're living your life. It's the it's the it's the good season. Right. <laughs> you be thinking you're good. Right. Till that bill comes. Whoa, and man. I be like, who ordered what? <laughs> and it's just me and Liz. I'm like, who ordered the you turn, pre crack you turn crab in a tone. You turn in a tone, pulling the glass. I, I know these crabs. chicken fingers. I, didn't, I was like, appetite. I ain't even eat that. Take that off. Bro, it, I, I know you, people always think I'm rich. I have a lot of money. Mm. You you don't have a lot of money when bills still surprise you. Oh yeah, absolutely. I be looking like, see, that wasn't even that good. That was good. <laughs> okay. But um, we celebrated on Wednesday, but the actual Friday, I got my hair cut. Kids got their hair cut. We flew in the middle of the night. My Valentine's was kind of, it just was just. What happened? Right, Yo, don't go into the part that's I won't go into the part about how I'm trash as a man. Uh, I'll talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll save that for but a later no, time. Um, but, Tony, but Tony had been sick the week prior. So she had been sick. So, you know, normally she's really good and she, you know, plans stuff, but there wasn't a lot of planning going on. And plus, I was just super busy and I'm just not. What are you I'm busy with? Just working. I've been really, you know, writing this movie every yeah, day. Yeah. And then we had a, a whole day shoot. Like, it's just a lot. And so um, I didn't have time. I'd be using that as an excuse. I should have made time. So I basically. Are you planning your schedule well? I don't believe no, I'm you working don't have a lot time. Harder, I, yeah. 
I'm working a lot harder. I'm doing a lot of things. Guys. I don't believe you are I, I, adequately using your I time. I promise you, I am. It's a lot. Run I, me through Doughboy's day. Um, I wake up at 5 a.m. I go work out, and I'm usually get back around 7:14. I take Kiara to school after what, I t- two and a half hour. You go on two hours, 15 minutes for the workout. Yeah. How long are you on the training? Just an hour. I just like an hour, and I just do like 30 in the uh, in the sauna. You be in the sauna for 30 minutes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. So yeah, so it's hot in there though. That's why I say I get up at five, but like I'm usually getting out of the house around five thirty. Thirty you know minutes saying? in the sauna? Mm-hmm. You still be taking your phone in there? Mm-hmm. But I keep it in my pocket though. It does It's still it's hot. hot. I'm never gonna learn. <laughs> in any event, so then like, and then I'll go off, and then like, let's just say, what was that that we were shooting Monday? I was here at what nine, and then we were mm-hmm. shooting till. Four, Don't think you're heavy days. I'm talking about a regular day. A, a lot of times I'm at the uh, at, at Transit Studios and I'm I'm sh- I'm writing this movie. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or you know, like it's just a lot of stuff that that I'll be doing. So I hadn't got her a gift or whatever. So then I didn't have nothing. And she didn't really have nothing planned. And then I kind of was just like, well, let's go to lunch. You know, it won't be that crowded. And let's go get a massage. I'm like trying to do all this stuff on the fly. And then she we were supposed to see the photograph that day. She picked the wrong time for the movie. I was just like everything. You know what I've realized? Whatever you believe is going to happen will most likely happen. And I be putting stuff like that in the air. Like, I always have bad Valentines. And then when it goes wrong, I'll be like, how did this happen? It's probably because I spoke that into the air. And that I got to stop That is a doing good that. revelation. Because you have the day you plan for. Yeah. If you call mm. for plenty of time, okay, I want to go to Turkish bath mm. at 10. I want to do lunch here at 1, make the reservation. I want to do car service. I want to, whatever I want right. to do. Uh, then you'll have the day that you plan for. You can't just do it. But on if you're the fly. trying to wing it on Valentine's, I'm day. trying to do it on the fly. Then I'm mad because I feel like she ain't impressed with me doing it on the fly. Ain't you impressed, huh? <laughs> I'm just a jerk. And I got to figure that. We're out. getting I be into better. the love hour we part. Right. You don't. You, you don't know how to time. separate talk. I don't. Talk. Tony's no, no. starting to come in here with receipts, so let's uh, uh, let's, let's, let's oh, pump the brakes a little bit. Okay. Tony's in the chat. Did we hit an hour? And we, she's we hour? not okay. happy about it. <laughs> We'll talk about that on the Love Hour after Wait, we, we're not talk about the credit card thing? Oh, we didn't talk about Darius Crooks. First of all. <laughs> I'm just saying. Friend. Okay. That's your, you know him personally? Yes. Oh. He was in my home. Oh, well, hey. Here's all Did I'm going to say his about on the way out? Here's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Doughboy's trash. <laughs> I'm just saying if a guy gets. Okay, go ahead. Let I'm me just t- curious because I don't know what I'm happened. I'm going to tell you what happened okay. because Darius has spoken about this at length. Okay. And I'm going to take him at his word. For he is a friend of mine. Okay. Fair. His company, mm-hmm. uh, because they were talking about this in the chat, and I don't want to talk about it, but Doughboy <laughs> wants to be funny, funny guy. <laughs> Diddy is crooks. Okay. That was good, though, man. Um, <laughs> his company, Above 701 Credit, mm-hmm. was issued a uh, consent judgment, basically saying that operating uh, a credit repair company is illegal in the state of Georgia. Okay. Okay. Just operating a credit repair company is illegal in the state of Georgia. But I thought he was a cook. No, he has multiple businesses. Okay. Gotcha. So okay. the judgment, see, you didn't even look into it. You I just did be not. talking out the side of your neck. I said, what did you guys want to talk about? And everyone said Darius Cooks built his stuff shut down. So I'm, I did not so know. So here's two things that happened. Okay. Before that judgment, he said he closed his three restaurants. Rest in peace, Greens and Gravy. What? Soul Crab ATL, Soul Crab Chicago. Why did he close them? Because he was, it was a mental health issue. He was struggling with his mental health. He's talking to a therapist. His, That's he, a serious thing. He realized that he the restaurant business was triggering a lot of his uh, issues with mental health. Okay. So he shut them down uh, relatively abruptly. Um, shortly after that, the consent judgment came with a bug. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I'm just, it, it the just consent sounds like, judgment came down. Okay. He went on Instagram Live to talk about. So he's this. saying one thing doesn't have to do with the other. He said they don't have anything to do with the other. But he the said, public opinion is different than this. Public opinion is always going to be with. And the public people are opinion. putting two and two together. So here's saying, what he said, though. He said, "I'm going to give you the facts." This is what he said on Instagram Live, and he's a great clapbacker. <laughs> okay. He said, "I'm going to give you the facts so that you can go and make your own story up anyway." Okay. Okay. So he said, "The facts are the restaurants were dealing, uh, affecting my mental health, so I shut them down, and the." Above 701 credit company thing was issued a judgment, 140 grand. He wrote the check mm-hmm. for it. Didn't know, first of all. <laughs> right, that's that's where I wanted to stop for real quick. wrote a check for 140 grand? 140 grand. Hey, oh, man, you're doing much you? better than me. I can't write a check. I mean, I can write a check. You can't really cash it, but you know, so he's he wrote, wrote a check. He wrote that 140, okay. signed, still delivered. Mm-hmm. 
my bad. Didn't know it was illegal. Uh, another company had the same issue. He said, there's more to come. Uh, there's more that, checks no, no, that he's going to cut? More companies uh, okay. who were operating mm. credit repair companies in Georgia didn't know it was illegal in Georgia. And they'll be those cases will happen soon. Um, and that's it. And that's all. Okay, so, man, so, ah! so he didn't do nothing wrong. Uh, the government really don't want okay. you getting your credit fixed, no. man. I'm, I'm, sorry, like Mr. It's the man. I'm sorry, Mr. Cooks. I didn't mean to call you Mr. Cooks. I should have heard. You did mean. What? You did mean to. Well, you sat on that joke. You ran that joke back. Like you just time. saw it in the comments. I was just seeking clarity. Oh. This is you. <laughs> well, hey. Well, Jump into conclusions. That, that sounds very, um, I mean. And I'm taking him at his word. You can I'm take him at his feel word. how you feel. Um, he has given me no other reason to feel. I don't any like that face. Don't what he's making. <laughs> don't what it brushes hair. The, <laughs> so I don't know what you can say about him. I don't know enough about the guy. I you was like just making brushing a joke. your hair backwards. What is going on? What's up with you and Jimmy Hustle? <laughs> okay, I was gonna grow my hair, and then he told me not to because my edges wouldn't survive. Your lineup. So listen, is what he said. He had to have an honest conversation. Where I said, "Hey, man, let's just grow it out." He said, "Listen, man, I didn't want to have to have this talk, but let's just go ahead and have it." I said, "What's up, man?" He said, "Listen, if you grow it all out the same length, your edges are gonna be." Expose it. He was like, they're going to be exposed. I said, what do you mean my edges is going to be exposed? He was like, exactly. You don't have any. They don't grow. I don't want this for you, so just keep, if anything, grow the top because your line is halfway decent. So I you can't do grow have it out a like this. For, you have a and that's line. what happened to me first. Right, but apparently if I tried to grow it out, back. it would be a whole ordeal. Get the straight backs. That's Get the I'm, mohawk. I'm, no, nah, I'm just going to grow the top because I want Why hair. Though? I want Remember hair. the dohawk? Huh? Dohawk, the, uh, but Dohawk is tied I to a hate, bad version I of Dohawk. Yeah, the you know, alter ego. Really I did not like yeah. Red Mohawk. Remember, he told Doe me to Boy. get him water one time. I said I was oh, at all depth. I was like, that was the damn whole mind. Thing. He was the absolute yeah. worst. You don't want Dohawk though. You don't want Dohawk, especially but, Red Dohawk. Wow. Red beer. What were you doing? That's because everybody. Somebody told me I look like Jadena, but instead of being a classic man, they said like a sandwich man. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ha ha, dye my hair red. Then I want to look like the man. I'm a sandwich man. <laughs> so I know when I met him, you looking like Jathena. Yeah, and you hey. know when I met him, I Is actually that a look skinny. Joke. Yeah, give me those. I gotta have a new <laughs> angle on you for fatness. So. It's gonna be about loose skin. I'm gonna let you know now. Uh, but Your what favorite about movie get... is Skin Deanna Jones. <laughs> You're from Gary Skin Deanna. <laughs> skin Deanna Jones. If till you get the skin hey. re removed, cause you know what's funny about this? I was watching an old episode of Dad Jokes. Doughboy used to make a whole bunch of ha hairline jokes about me. Then I showed my hair body. It was like, you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> like all I'm gonna do. We just gotta adjust. I'm just going we just to gotta pivot. Jokes. If you lose, if you're 18 pounds. Mm -hmm. I will make fun of you for looking like I'm a I'm just glad that my face don't look crazy from losing weight. Does no, you face, look really you know, good, bro. And my like, head's not, no, but my, I do have a big head, though. I feel like this last 20 going to expose that head. You know who ain't going to tell you nothing about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, pulled a, I posted a picture of the Spectrum mailers because <laughs> I be in people's mail. You know how many big head jokes? I actually got bro. one that was funny. Hold on. Uh, somebody hit me with one, and I was like, whew. Because <laughs> I, I thought I had heard all the funny big head jokes from Roast Me. People are clever. Oh, so first of all, this dude, don't roast me. Just these are a couple ones. Somebody said Kev looked like the oldest baby ever. <laughs> okay. Uh, where was that big head joke? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, let me block this idiot. I verify Instagram pages. Oh, no. That was a funny one, too. People be funny. <laughs> Let me, somebody said also, this was funny. It was like, man, you're in my mail. You're in my bill, too. I was like, no, nah, I don't be, I ain't got nothing to do with the <laughs> bill part. Dang, yeah. man, hold on, Get hold together, on. together, man. It's a lot more comments than I, than I realized. I forget. But we just know you got a big head and people are creative and saying it. This has been Based another. Based on the size of your head, I, I can tell you overthink all your scenarios. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you got paid for them to use your image. Okay. okay, that wasn't. I mean. All right. Well, this has been another installment oh. of uh, Rises and Ratchet. I have been Doughboy, Kevin Fredericks, and we will see you guys next week. Uh, Where is that joke? A uh, peace. <laughs>